Hello, everybody. Welcome back to All American Mallard. This is Brandon, and uh, I've actually taken a couple weeks off. And the reason for that is because I've kind of gone through some technical shifting, as you're probably already noticing from the beginning of this video. So <clears throat> I am now recording this on my brand new Galaxy 5 Android. And yes, I know, the Galaxy 5 is not the latest on the market, but for me, it's brand new because all my other videos were on iPod. And this I actually purchased from my cousin who gave it to me a couple years ago and I've just never activated it. So, you, as far as I'm concerned, you are viewing a brand new technology as far as the All American Mallard is concerned. So, uh, if anybody's seeing this for the first time, these are vlogs on my life, just little kind of online journal updates. One thing that's happened to me is I've actually uh, got my truck driver's license and I'm now driving all across the country. And so I'm getting more updates. Uh, one of them being is I just got my first account. It's going to be a dedicated account. So I'm not going to go all over the country, but it's starting this next week here. And so I'll be able to experience that, see how it's treating me in another week or two. Maybe I'll tell you how it's, how I'm feeling about it. Uh, one thing I did want to go ahead and check in with is uh, this week is um, the one where we had the reportedly the the greatest massacre on U.S. soil. This was the shooting in Las Vegas. And so, uh, you know, and anybody who's on social media, probably you, has seen all kinds of arguments and discussion. We need gun control. It's not the guns. It's the psychos who have them. So on and so forth. And yes, I have my own position on the subject. But I'd like to add maybe another piece of food for thought on my own experience. Uh, not, not, nothing gun related uh, offhand, I can tell you that. But uh, here's, here's my perspective I'd like to offer you. Recently, I just had a heated discussion with a family member. Don't ask, I'm not going to tell you. But it became an argument that this family member who's notorious for doing this uh, basically it buckled down to I'm right, you're wrong, and you have to grovel before me and admit that. And what this family member didn't seem to recognize is the fact that I was actually trying to say, look, I actually agree because of X, Y, Z, and you don't have to keep coming after me like this. But because I basically wasn't saying, I'm so sorry, you're right, please forgive me, I'm so sorry, I'm so wrong, because I wasn't yielding to that, this family member wasn't even hearing my position and just kind of kept digging at me, coming after me like that, to the point I just basically had to throw up my hands and say, you know what, I have to stop. I have to stop. And I walked away because it wasn't going to do anything but get uglier at that point. What does this have to do with what happened earlier? Well, while it certainly wouldn't have escalated to gun violence, um, certainly wasn't that bad, but... I think a lot of why we react to these things so passionately without really resolving anything is because we have to have our voices heard. We have to be the first and everybody else has to admit, yes, I was so wrong. You are so right. That's not the way you're going to win a discussion. A anybody, probably you, who have ever been in one of those situations, whether you perpetrated it or received it, you can probably vouch that, yes. It didn't end well. My thought and what I'd like to propose for thought is if you get into a heated discussion with somebody, be willing to take a little humble pie. A little diplomacy goes a long way. Maybe even be willing to say, look, if I offended, I'm sorry. That was, that, that's the first approach because you let that person know you want to validate them. You, you understand they have value to their thought and you, you don't want to tread upon that. You don't want to kick them aside just because you think that you happen to be right. Validate them. And then, without confrontation, as much as possible, try to say, here's where I'm coming from. Here's what I had to say on that. And best case or worst case scenario, you may agree or disagree but feelings won't get hurt. You'll hear each other out and cooler heads will prevail. 
That's my thought that I'd like to offer. And I think that's really the root of the issue here, whether it's an agreement or a disagreement, or if it escalates into people that go psycho and take out the lives of countless innocents. Apparently this guy who perpetrated the, the shooting, he was a millionaire. That, that's what I heard. Uh, I got that from a second source information, so I, I don't know the fine print on that, but if that's true, clearly he who dies with the most toys doesn't always win. In fact, more often than not, they don't win. It's a lousy philosophy. So I think if you really want to be a winner, be willing to give the person you're in opposition with value. I think if we start from that foundation, anything else that's going to fall into place can be resolved much cleaner and much easier. Just my two cents.